Do I smell Nutella in the air? Why yes, why yes I do smell Nutella in the air. And when you smell Nutella in the air, that's a sign that today's bacon day with Jason. And you are watching my cooking show. So, today, John Paul is coming over later to bake. And, let me turn the light on real quick. We are baking uh, Nutella, of course, because Nutella is my signature ingredient. We are baking Nutella muffins. So, the recipe that I found calls to scoop about 15 Nutella balls like this and freeze them in the freezer for a couple hours. And what we're going to do with those frozen uh, balls of Nutella is put them in the batter before we uh, put the muffins in the oven. And then they'll rise and they'll bake. And when you take a bite out of them, you will be treated to a nice surprise of Nutella. So right now I'm going to the mall to meet my mom and we're going to be shopping around for a blazer because I don't really have a well put together business formal, uh, not business formal, business casual outfit. So that is, I guess, my objective right now. The Hudson's Bay. Meeting mom inside. So we're at the top shop and we're looking for a blazer. And uh, this is what they look like on me. How's it look, mom? Amazing. Yeah, I let it narrow around my waist, which I like because it gives my torso some, I guess, some shape. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever worn a blazer before. This is amazing. And I then love it. We're only supposed to button up one button. I love it. Jackets. There's actually a history, a reason why not both buttons are uh, buttoned. Do you know why? Because this no old like French or European king, um, he was too fat, so he couldn't put the, uh, oh, the two buttons around. Oh boy! I just want to get a, 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 this. Oh, look at that material. We just made a big ticket purchase. Got myself a blazer, and they even provided me with a nice little blazer jacket holding bag, which is pretty neat. So generous of them. Yeah. Blazers are expensive though. That's something I learned today. Right, mom? They can be. Yeah. And now we're gonna go look for a nice shirt to compliment it so that I can wear it on Tuesday. We're in this makeshift change room because they're doing renovation and we're just trying on different shirts. And oh my God, shopping drains so much energy out of me. I came in here with full energy and now I'm ready to pass out. My mom's like dead too. She's tired. Well, she, she was working all day today, so thanks for coming out with me today. You're welcome. And buying all this stuff, shopping spree, getting pampered. But yeah, I like the blazer, but shopping for a shirt is a bit more tedious because you always have to take them off, take them off, put them back on. And, take uh, off the pins. Yeah. This is a nice shirt. I'm leaning more towards this one. Yeah, whatever you want. I, I trust in you your judgment. With, with the poof? Yeah, with this, this mm -hmm. one. Well, it's just, we have to get you longer sleeve size. Can't wait till my braces come off. But this is a 33. <gasps> Yo, how do I look today? I'm trying on these nice uh, khakis. This is the name to them, I forget already. I don't even know. Uh, but uh, my mom likes how it looks, and I like it too. I have huge thighs, so I need to start working out. Two and a half hours later, and we're on our third store. Went to Bay, and then went to like Top Shop, which is like a part of the Bay, and now we're at Gap. And two and a half hours in, and I am dead. I am brain tired, and I'm tired, and I'm homesick, and I'm hungry. But this is a nice little quirky perk they have. Look, for uh, the dressing rooms, you get to customize your own palette that indicates where you are. So my mom do the J with a smiley face. So cute, so cute, so cute. So after three hours of shopping on our feet, I think we went to four stores, the Bay, um, Top Shop, Banana Republic, and then Gap. So yeah, four stores, semi-successful, bought pants and blazer. Unfortunately, no shirt. So now we are, re Fueling our bodies with a nice food court meal. Ham and cheese wrap with pass and salad on the side. And you got, you opted for some Asian food. Some beef and beans and rice. Yeah. Looks like a pretty tasty combo. Yeah, I'm gonna dig in this and I'm gonna go home and bake some Nutella muffins. Here we are again, back at the bay. It's almost closing time. Looking for shoes. 
But Jay wanted to put on a little comical act for the, everybody. Sis. Wait, I, I should like fun characters. What does it look like? A 1950s like schoolboy kind of hat? You know, like in the winter they like, have to up like this. Actually, it's kind of cute. It honestly reminds Let's me. Let's get a little of, close up. I, I'll just come close. Don't zoom in. It's Look. already zoomed in. Oh. Really zoomed in. Excuse me, mom. Can you spare some change? <laughs> I got 14 brothers and sisters starving at home. <laughs> Well, that's the fedora. 1954, I'm in a dark alley in the back. I was looking for the culprit who killed my wife, seeking revenge on whoever did it. It's, that's supposed to be like a, 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 a the noir uh, mystery movie. Uh -huh. I forget the genre of it. Hey, it's 1874, Britain, and I'm um, sweeping <laughs> some chimneys. <laughs> Chimney sweeper. <laughs> Top of the morning, shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm God, I hate my mom. She forced me to wear this hat today. It's so ugly. And it's too tight. Actually, I can't it's pretty feel my cute. brain anymore. It's pretty cute. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> All right, so we're here with John Paul. Yo, John Paul. What up? <laughs> What's up? And uh, we're going to be making some Nutella muffins. Fourth Nutella recipe ever that I'm making. And, uh,. It's deviating a bit from what I usually make because before I made cheesecake uh, and cookies and now I'm making muffins. Nutella stuffed muffins. And they're supposed to resemble Tim Horton muffins, but with the extra feature of Nutella inside. So I'm looking forward to that. And John Paul's just trolling my friends here, chatting about random shizazzle. And my mom preparing the ingredients downstairs because, you know, that's what she does best. So let's bake some muffins, John Paul. Let's okay. go. Let's go get off the computer. Hold on, hold on. Let me say bye to Kenny. Okay. Bye, Kenny. Bye. Aww. So when you have to bake, you have to bake right. You need the proper equipment to bake. So we are vesting John Paul with this amazing apron. How do I look? You look fabulous. You look like a lovely 1980s baker. <laughs> and uh, will I need to equip myself with the Absolutely. same thing? Okay. Oh, no, that's yours, though. You're doing all the baking. No, I'm not. Yeah, it always ends up you baking. I did all the prep work. And that I appreciate. Yeah, this is, is an easy recipe, so hopefully we won't need a lot of assistance from you. You'll just sit here and eat smart food while we bake with the lovely ingredients you prepared. Butter. We need two types of vanilla yogurt, Greek yogurt and normal yogurt. Sugar, eggs, and all that stuff. So, John Paul, if you would be so kind to mix that. Hurry to hrblog.ca or um, can we turn the TV off? Sure. So, John Paul's mixing the flour, baking soda, and baking powder. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the best kind of labor is? The best kind of labor is? Yes. What is the best kind of labor? No, Child labor. That's your good effect. <laughs> John Paul mixing together the dough. It's really thick, surprisingly. I don't know what made us so thick. We got the chocolate mm. chips in there and we're mixing it together. Take a look. Mm. Like, look at that. I think mm. it's the yogurt that made it really thick. Yeah. But is it, it supposed it kinda, to be really thick? It, yeah, it's, so. it's supposed to be. But it, it looks kind of like a piece of dough. Just like the consistency of it. Mm -hmm, yeah, it I think does. that's enough. Yeah, that's probably that enough. enough yeah. So we put the, the frozen Nutella straight into the batter and we're going to put some more batter on top like kind of bury it in there and uh it's kind of tricky since it's really sticky but doing so will uh cause the nutella to become locked into the muffin and then it will be all good and scrumptious when it comes out i think um I think it's got to go in this way, boys. Hmm? Like this, right in there. Well, technically it's supposed to be a ball. So we pretty much dried out the entire bowl of batter. Uh, so we pretty much dried out the entire bowl of batter. And uh, the Nutella actually melted very quickly after coming out of the freezer. So it was kind of like uh, we were on a time limit. But I think we succeeded. The Nutella is buried away in there. Some actually have double the Nutella. So those muffins will be giving quite a surprise. <laughs> and uh, 
uh, I was reading, it's almost done. And yeah, uh, that's my life right now. Thanks for watching. Mmm, something smells good. The timer's up. And the muffins should be done. Let's take a look, huh? Mm -hmm. Come here, John Paul. Let's see how they turned out. Wow. Not good? They're so white, though. Like in the picture, they're like golden. Mm -hmm. they're Racist. Slightly golden. But yeah, parts of them are like a bit uh, darker because yeah, they're slightly they're golden. sticking out. But how does how, how do you how do they look? Let's feel it. Ooh. Does it look good? Ooh, feels pretty nice. And you can see some of the Nutella exposed from the cracks in some of them. I'm actually kind of pissed that uh, they're Excuse not golden me. in color. But overall, they look nice. They do. Mm -hmm. and then we'll eat some, and then you can take a couple home too. Yeah. For the whole family. They have to be, um... And they didn't, like, flow over, though. Just, they're still, like, in the wrapper. Wow, these actually look so amateur <laughs> compared to the... The picture? The picture and just muffins you buy at bakeries. The picture was probably a picture of a Tim Hortons muffin. Yeah, they probably bought a Tim Hortons muffin and yeah, then put a, a, a jar of Nutella behind it. And then took the picture and claimed that it was homemade. This one's awful. It's like the ugly ducking. Duckling. Mm, duckling. Probably tastes the best. Yeah. Star the ugly Nutella muffin. I like that one. This is my favorite so far. This actually looks like a really well done muffin. Oh, I wanted to take a picture while they're still in there. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Oh. It's done. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll put them back. <laughs> no. Actually, I'll do it. Yeah, you're, you're already quarter of the way done. May as well just finish the deed. Because I want to take a picture with them in here, oh, you know. So I took a picture of them before they went to the oven in the, the tray and I want to take it after. You know, like a before and after shot. You are the piece of me! <laughs> Alright, take a bite, JP. JP Nizzle, eating the very first Nutella muffin. I poisoned it, by the way. How is it? That's good. It's good? Oh, alright. Take one of me eating mine. Look how perfect this muffin looks. Alright, which side should I eat first? The Nutella side? Right there. Right, right in there? Alright, I need that for my first bite, it's going to land. Oh. oh yeah, look at that perfect peel. Oh. Okay. Yay. Oh my god, it's hot. It's good though. It's not that hot. Ah. That's good. I like it. Very nice. Very, very nice. I approve. I approve. Two thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.